Clippers hosting the Grizzlies, and the Clippers are six and a half point favorites. The over under is at 224 and a half. The Grizzlies are plus 215 on the money line, and the Clippers are minus 260. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you could do so by visiting my website or clicking on the membership link in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets, my stats. College basketball and football are in there exclusively, and if you're going to ask what my best picks are or what I think of a specific game, the answer will be in the Discord. Now, it's supposed to be Morant, Bain, Smart, Jackson, and Biombo, and Morant is listed as questionable with an illness, and then Harden, Mann, Leonard, George, and Zubak, and George is listed as questionable with a hip injury. Now, the Grizzlies are paying playing back-to-backs they got the shit kicked out of them by the nuggets tonight jaw did not play but i still wasn't expecting them to go down quite as miserably as they did they've played each other once this year and the clippers won that game oh the grizzlies won that game forgive me 105 101 in la Head-to-head, the Grizzlies are 6-4. and four. The Grizzlies are on a two-game winning streak. The underdog is 6-4 and four against the spread, while the favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The under has hit in their last two. The over is 6-4. and four. The over 224.5 and a half is 6-4. And, and the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Grizzlies are 4-6 and six in their last 10, 4-6 against the spread, and the over is 6-4. And, and see what happens when Morant doesn't play. They don't win. There was a total of 219, 244, 231 and then 247 points they won by 13 against the pacers they beat the hawks by six they beat the pelicans by one and then they lost by 37 tonight to the nuggets the last three games that they've played they've been on the road for the clippers they are eight and two in their last 10 six and four against the spread and the over is six and four in their last 10 there was a total of 231 249 253 and then 217 points they beat the mavericks by nine they lost to the thunder by 18 they lost to the celtics by 37 and then they beat the hornets by nine without morant i don't think that the grizzlies are going to have the same luck twice in a row i'll take the clippers with the money line i'll take the clippers laying the points and i'll go over in this one if morant plays by some miracle i would take the grizzlies getting the points these are just my picks if you disagree please go with your gut and please bet responsibly